Official representatives of the Lugansk and Donetsk People's Republics in the Minsk protests, Vladislav Deinega and Denis Pushilin, have urged Ukraine to honor the law on special self-government procedures in certain parts of the Donetsk and Lugansk regions. The Lugansk and Donetsk authorities are demanding that Kyiv resume economic relations with the regions. Kyiv insists that first Donbas accepts its subordination to Ukraine. Washington and its allies are pursuing a regime change policy towards Russia, deliberately introducing sanctions and attacking the ruble through manipulation of world oil prices, the head of Russia's external intelligence agency has said. Such a desire has been noticed, it's a small secret, Mikhail Fretkov, a former prime minister, told Bloomberg on Thursday. No one wants to see a strong and independent Russia. Meanwhile, 200 people have been arrested by New York City police in overnight, protesting over grand jury's decision not to indict officers involved in the chokehold death of Eric Garner, an unarmed black man. Many of the arrests involved charges for disorderly conduct and refusal to clear the streets, ABC News quotes authorities as saying. The protesters gathered in downtown Manhattan's Folly Square and chanted, I can't breathe and no justice, no peace, in support of the victim. The crowd then marched across the Brooklyn Bridge, carrying replicas of of coffins. US has once again confirmed that the defender of democracy in the world. Earlier, a Phoenix police officer shot to death an unarmed black man during a struggle Tuesday evening. Authorities said the officer believed the individual had a gun in the latest fatal incident amid national turmoil over the policing of black communities. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.